two, three, four. All right, everybody, it's Terry here, and I've got Scott over. He actually went to the Chelsea Ham Fest. It was last weekend. Yeah, Sunday. And he was going to leave with nothing, but he called me up, and he said, Hey, there's this guy that's got these two multi LMAC transmitters laying on his table, and he could get the pair of them for what? $200? Yeah, if you want to get rid of them. Yeah. So he picked them both up and brought them here to the shop and of course we had discussion that these don't work unless you have a power supply and as you know the power supplies are harder to find than the actual radios themselves so we decided to weekend warrior it and we have made a prototype power supply for the multi LMAC so this power supply is based on a Hammond 273BX high voltage transformer and that handles the 500 volt side. We have a Johnson Ranger 10 Henry choke. And then we have a low voltage DC supply putting out around 250 volts and he has a choke too. For the design of our multi LMAC power supply, we decided to repurpose an old chassis that I had laying around. So you can see there's some additional switches and lights and holes that are not being used, but we didn't want to burn up a fresh chassis and they say oh we should have arranged this differently so this is our prototype we are going to reproduce this power supply clean it up have all the features that we want in it including negative bias adjustment for the modulator section so right now the power supply is fired up and unlike the PS2 power supply these transformers are actually on Okay, and we switch the high voltage using the push to talk relay. We've got it hooked up to the multi LMAC, and you can see it's powered up. We've got our watt meter and a receiver to listen to the audio. So now we'll go ahead and fire this thing up, and you can listen to the purity of the audio from the AF68. All right, we're going to go through the tune up procedure. On the multi LMAC, we're going to monitor the output on my Palstar watt meter and we're going to listen to the audio on this little shortwave receiver. So, if you go to the first G position, that is going to apply grid to the output tube without having the high voltage applied. So, normally you would adjust your VFO. If I turn this on, you can hear the VFO. Okay. Turn off for zero. Now we'll go to the other G position. If I key it, there it is. Okay, now I can adjust my frequency. Hello. Hello, one, two, three. And I can adjust my modulator output. So if we go to modulation position, you can see she's talking. And man, is it pure. Nice pure audio. Dead keen about 40 watts and I'm modulating almost up to say 65 to 70 watts on the Palstar. And there's no hum at all. So this power supply project is a huge success. So the next step will be to reproduce the power supply, get it in a nice clean cabinet and put it in Scott's station because he's going to run a multi LMAC, right? Yeah. Yep. That's the plan. So, so far the project's coming along great. We're having a lot of fun with it. I would say we have at least 10 hours invested into the layout of the prototype power supply. But this AF68 is probably one of the cleanest units that I've ever heard. It's got this updated meter. I believe this might be the A model. It's going to be a great addition to his ham shack. 